guess who's back? Yes, it is the ever jovial Chichi Daisy. Now this is a multi-choice Zambia YouTube channel. On these platforms, we talk all things campaign, promotions, every single thing that you need to know about Go TV and DSTV. Now, before I get ahead of myself, I must make mention that I'm so excited today because we are gonna be talking about a field that I am well invested in, and that is the film industry. How can we contribute to the growth of the Zambian film industry? By impacting knowledge, by learning. And that is exactly what the Multi-Choice Island Factory is doing. Today I'm going to be joined by Kanisha Skawe, who is class of 2022 alumni for MTF, to share with us his experience. It was a 12 months of intense training. I really can't wait. And of course, we are counting down to the Qatar 2022 World Cup. Yes, we're still going to be showing you that. I mean, everybody is excited, right? I know, right? So let me be seated comfortably. When we get back, we get straight into the conversation. Brand new shows this month. Work hard to go home to your friends and your family sooner. Greed is healthy. All I wanted to do was be a normal teenager. Brand new entertainment on the go this November. This is their home. Yeah, this is their real home. The Dragon Blade? You're still trying to make the league, huh? It's the only dream I have. The latest and greatest with Go TV. Love it. A lot of exciting content there on Go TV and DSTV for this month. I am so excited, just as much as you are. So, like I said earlier in my preamble, I am joined by Kanisha Skawe, who is class of 2022 alumni for Multi Choice Talent Factory. Kanisha, how's it going? It's all good. How's it going? Great. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me here. I'm excited. Hey, me too. Now, let's kickstart the conversation by just understanding how the 12 months was. I know that MTF is 12 months intense training how was the experience like for you everything the emotions everything that comes with it it was full of uh, mixed emotions happy sad but we moved so it was a great experience and as you say 12 months it was a compact and compressed course things which people do in three four years we had to do it in, in the space of one year so it was really it was really nice and we learned all aspects of filmmaking, all angles from idealization and to distribution. And also the talent factor helped me to ignite what I didn't know that I had in me. For all I knew, because I went in as a photographer, so I was like, it's only about camera work. But when I got there, I got introduced to uh, script writing and I wrote my first script from there. And also lighting, but to do sound, now I can handle sound equipment and professional film uh, equipment. So in the space of 12 months, we also had, like, had the six-week training with New York Film Academy. We had a short storytelling course, which had documentary making. We had uh, PSAs and adverts, music videos, production design, cinematography and lighting, and also producing. So it was really nice, intense fun which required hard work and mm. you being present in the room awesome so i do know that pretty much almost everyone that comes to uh, multi choice and the factory gets some sort of inspiration what is your story for you how did you enroll well um first of all like as a creative in the creative industry as it's developing and growing you also need to develop and grow to meet the standards of the industry so for me, it was like I needed something to elevate my career as a, as a creative. So I had the multi Studying Factory came in as an elevation. It was like a catalyst for my reaction. Yes. So it came in and elevated my career as a, as, a, as a creative and also me wanting to tell stories that the world never told about Africa. The people, in Af people have got different views about Africa, different stories. Some which are real, some which are fake. So. I want to tell the authentic African stories. That's what inspired me to apply for the multi Talent Factory. Mm. And also to like contribute on the growth of the industry. As it's a developing industry, I also want to leave a mark. So I do know that one of the qualifications prior to the graduation is shooting feature films and short films. You did four, if I'm not mistaken, short films, 10 minutes somewhere there, and two feature films. Did you have a time frame? How was the experience like for you? And by the way, we're all done. They're going to show marks. <laughs> Thank you. Right? Yeah. Share with us the experience. How was it like for you? Well, it was, it was a great experience, tiring, hard work, 
and people bringing in their A game, stepping up to the moment. That's how it is, because the we shot the four short films in the space of eight days, back to back, no rest. So we had like two days for each short film. So we had to go in two days, you get done with this one. You wake up at five, you go back to bed at 22, <laughs> wake up at five, like straight up for a week plus. So it was it was intense and it was it was a learning process and we learned so much and it was great. And then for the feature films we had to do them in the space of 16 days. So I had like eight days for one feature film, eight days for another feature film. But at least we had a mini break in between. Yeah, and I'm super excited. I'm excited that we the stories that we wrote, we shot them, and are gonna be seen by Africa. I'm excited. We hope maybe one of yours is gonna be uh, nominated, the MVC. We did For see sure. your colleagues. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that we are done, you've graduated, you've gotten so much knowledge as you explained earlier. What should people expect from you with all the knowledge that has been impacted on your life? Well, for me, is uh, as my life as a creative has been elevated, moved to a different level from here now somewhere here, from zero to Zali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I want to produce, work in the film industry and also tell authentic African stories and also contribute to the growth of our industry. It's a developing industry, so it, it requires a lot. You need to upgrade all the time, so I need to also contribute to the growth of the industry and also give back to the community. Somebody out there might be wondering how they can become a class of 2023 alumni. Maybe you can guide the people on how to apply. Okay, uh, so but sorry, class of 2023, the portal was, people already applied, so the portal closed. So it oh, will be yeah. class of 2024. Yes, please, <laughs> please. Yeah, so uh, they, they released the call to, uh, call to action, which is sometimes aired on, in, on DSTV channels and social media for Multi Choice Selling Factory. So there's the multi Talent Factory website, which you can go on, get your phone uh, or your laptop, you type in multichoicestalentfactory.com. So when you go there, there's, when you go to the portal, there's a part where you can apply. So you click there, you go through the application process, and then you start waiting to be called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There we have it. You can also have an opportunity to grow your knowledge and contribute to the growth of the Zambian film industry. This is The Space. How excited am I? I'm like a pilot, I guess, on the first flight. Really excited for today. It's a dream come true. And all this that's happening is so massive, I just can't believe it. Very, 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 very exciting moment in my life. Uh, I would like to say congratulations to the graduates. And um, yeah, the, the industry is waiting. There is no developing any industry without skills. We're excited because that means now um, we can fill in the gaps that are there. Multi Choice is on a plan to enrich lives and that is what they've done for me. What a colorful graduation that was and we want to wish all the best to all the graduates even as they go and flourish in their different careers. Now you're still watching the space. This is a multi-choice Zambia YouTube channel. Now I said earlier that we are so excited about the Qatar 2022 World Cup. I mean who is not? And because of that multi-choice Zambia has lined up a whole lot of activities and one of them are roadshows that were taking place in different parts of Lusaka. Let's have a look.
What an exciting episode this was. A lot of information to know about the multi-choice talent factory. And of course, everybody is pumped and hyped up for the Qatar 2022 World Cup. Speaking of the World Cup, do let me know which team you think might carry the day. <laughs> Alrighty, so before I get ahead of myself, I need to remind you because I'll be failing my duties, you need to stay connected by connecting via our USSD code that is star 668 hash. That's the only way you'll be able to unlock a whole world of world-class content. And remember, all 64 games will be broadcasted live on GoTV and DSTV, so you need to get with the program. Remember that DSTV Niani on GoTV, Niamoyo, this is the space.